propelled the world into a new age of transportation. Popular legend has it that 18th century inventor James Watt discovered the power of steam when he observed the lifting lid of a kettle of boiling water. The truth is that man had been aware of the power of steam for countless centuries, long before Watt ever sat down for his first cup of tea. As early as 100 AD, ancient writings told of a rotating steam turbine wheel created by Hero of Alexandria. The device was described simply as a sphere of Aeolus, but Hero never realized the potential uses of his creation and dismissed it as nothing more than a simple toy to keep a drowsy emperor awake. It would be nearly 2,000 years before a practical steam engine would be invented. The steam engine was originally conceived to pump water out of uh, very deep mines, uh, and it soon be became applied to lots of other things, uh, especially for driving all sorts of mills. Most closely associated with the creation of the steam engine is 18th century English engineer and inventor Thomas Newcomen. Newcomen designed and built one of the first practical atmospheric steam engines around 1712. The steam engine consisted of a series of steam-driven piston rods linked by chains that rose and fell in order to lift water out of mines. For over 50 years, Newcomen's steam engine set the standard, but a Scottish instrument maker and engineer, James Watt, set out to improve on Newcomen's creation. Initially, the rotated motion wasn't used with atmospheric engines because they weren't very evenly running engines. James Watt, by applying steam to both sides of the piston in a cylinder, and with the use of properly designed valves could impart a regular rocking motion to a beam and by means of a crank then rotate a wheel. This improved steam engine aided by the wheel provided a major advance in the way we traveled over water. By the late 1700s the steamship was man's first major development at traveling great distances since the creation of the sail thousands of years before. The French were the steamship's earliest pioneers in the late 1700s, but it was an American, Robert Fulton, who first achieved commercial success when he gained worldwide attention for driving his steamship, the Claremont, between New York and Albany in 1807. 